Here's a great opportunity to get $10 off when you buy UFC 300 pay-per-view. Anyone who purchases UFC 300 pay-per-view by April 8th can save $10 on the pay-per-view price. New subscribers who purchase UFC 300 pay-per-view and an ESPN Plus annual plan by April 8th will receive a $15 discount. This UFC 300 early bird offer only lasts till April 8th. So do not wait. Go and order the historic UFC 300 pay-per-view through the link given in the description below. Interested in Jamal Dude. Hill and Pereira. <laughs> yeah. I'm so interested in that fight. I, was, that I was know. A, I, was I about am to bring so up. interested in that fight. It's going to be his wrestling. I don't think he gets enough props, first of all. I think he's a fucking beast. Besides, Jamal Hill's fucking yeah. dangerous. Watch the Glover. fight with Glover. Yeah, watch yeah. the fight with Glover. I he watched pieced the Glover up. And, and Glover is fucking good. I know. To piece him up like that on the feet. Taking away his singles real quick. Yeah. <sighs> people underestimate him for some strange reason. I, I, and I don't understand it. They, they, I've heard people talk about his power. Watch that Johnny Walker fight. I know. The Johnny Walker in the fight. Forehead. Yeah. It was always like hit by a sniper. The OSP fight. Yeah. Yeah, man. He's like, uh, Alex is going to be so confident because of all his kickboxing and everything else that with these little gloves i think jamal's gonna surprise him he's gonna fucking sharpshoot him jamal's a one punch knockout striker at light heavyweight for sure and he's a big tall dude and he knows movement he's fucking dangerous man i mean Bro, even jamal's dangerous i mean a lot of people dude. are picking pajeda to run him over really which i think is interesting yeah i don't yeah i'm not sure about that like the i'm not sure shit. about that man dude i think this is gonna be a great fight Las Vegas, but the God of War has touched down. Sábado, galera, tá chegando. Vamos aí, energia positiva, vai ser bom ver. A noite de muita porrada. Hey, there's get, something's going down when they open up that UFC 300. One uh, former UFC champ versus another former, former UFC champ. Winner gets a title shot. Bantamweight title. Bantamweight title shot on the line. UFC 300, God of War, get figgy with it. When does the Motown Phenom plan on getting back in the octagon? This summer. Let's this do summer it. summer for sure. Let's do I'm it. Recover from the the knee injury, and then uh, I'm returning to the lightweight division too. That's time. We'll take over. We own all this, yeah. All that. All that. All that. Just have a nice all that. All that. All that. All that. Yeah. All that. All that. You want the All that.
my first time playing the lottery and I won. How much I win? Four dollars. Oh. That's good. I paid more for those goddamn tickets than four dollars. While, they, while there's similarities to what we do because it's, you know, combat centric, um, we couldn't be any more different, right? Like, it, you know, I remember having a conversation with Dane a long time ago. This was at, we were at the ESPYs on a red carpet and he, they had just done the, the China uh, Performance Institute and all that stuff. They just made all this massive investment there. And I had said it had just come out and I, we were talking and I said, hey, congratulations on the China stuff. He was like, yeah, I know it's awesome time right now. He's like, I just have to get the Chinese girl to win on Saturday because they had a pay-per-view. And he's like, if she wins, it's awesome. If she doesn't, like, I'm doomed. And I was like, it's beauty of what we do. Like, I know that I know she wins in our yeah. sport. Right? Like, it's different. It, so there's there's such a difference in what we do. It's hard to blend the two. Check this out guys, guess who I'm about to fight private with? The big sewer, the big diesel. We had a spar match and he won. I'm not gonna show you all the footage, so I told him if you don't show people the footage and you beat me up, I'll let you fly with me. So that's what happened. There you go, there you have it. Check it out. Hey, I'm coming after the spar match tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> me and you. Who's <laughs> That's a nice plane shot. That's a nice plane, dude. That's sick. Big thank you, man. Thank you for letting the Triple C ride. And Derek, pleasure to meet you. Yes, sir. Dean Mac. Nice to meet you, my brother. It was awesome. And I'm out, man. Thanks, Shaq. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Yeah. See you performing. Yeah. All right, cool. Letter D Mac. Hey, man. Is one of these guys mine? Yeah. Which one? Which fellow? Which one? Which fellow my Triple C? Hey. We out. According to an article from abqraw.com, John Jones threatened to kill a person who showed up at his place trying to obtain his blood and urine sample for a drug test. The article said the Albuquerque Police Department responded to a call after a person working for a drug testing agency was trying to obtain a drug test from UFC fighter John Jones. Sources who are not authorized to speak to the media said the drug tester noticed Jones appeared extremely intoxicated and threatened to kill the tester. Jones at one point even snagged the drug tester's cell phone. 
The incident happened at the end of March. However, the tester went to a location nearby Jones's home today to report the incident. APD is currently investigating the alleged criminal act. Find a happy place! Find a happy place! Find a happy place! I'll show you a happy place! <laughs> ah! Find a happy place!